Hello everyone. Where are we at today? We are going to pattern focus. What's the deal here? Oh, okay. <clears throat> and we're going to scroll down to today's pattern, which is this one. Starlet 8. Now this one looks a lot like one we just did for Christmas. Um, golly, what was that one called? It was one of Nicole's ice flakes or something oh goodness sakes I've mixed up my pile so now I don't know where anything is because I showed you my big pile of drawings and I mixed up my new ones with my old ones so I don't oh I'm getting close I'm getting close. Those are my Christmas ones. There they are. It's very much like... Come on. It's a lot like Nicole's Ice Flakes. Oops. Nicole's Ice Flakes look like that. This looks like this, and it's very much like that, except for at the top, instead of being a, just a triangle, it's got this loop. But it's very similar. So if you can do this one, you can do that other one. Just saying. Oh, what a mess. Okay. Got to get those mailed out. All right. So Starlet 8. We're going to start with a cross or a plus, you know, going to divide into eight sections. So two going this way, two going that way makes eight sections right at the top of that we're going to come up and we're going to make a loop and go back and we're going to connect each and every one of them not every other one <coughs> with this loop it's the every other one that made that the nicole's one look, look the way it did so that's what we end up with and then in variations, we can, um, you know, aura them. We can color in every other one. Um, this one is colored in and then has various things. We just embellish as you see fit, you know. So let's do one. Do I want to do just one? Oops, that's not a Got to get me a piece of paper because I seem to have run out and I'm going to uh, close your eyes. I'm going to blind everyone. Okay, so do I want to just do one? Do I want to do more than one? Do I want them overlapped? What do I want to do? Hmm. You know, this is our string. I don't see it fitting into here, but I do see an idea here of incorporating the string idea with this pattern. I think I'm going to put one in this corner and then I'm going to put another one coming out from behind and then another one coming out from behind. And that way, and they'll grow bigger as they go. So it'll be the idea of string number 61 without using the square I think that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to actually put a pencil border so that we have a guideline of where, where we're ending up. And I want one here. I'm going to put the pencil lines because I want to know how big it's going to be. It's not going to be that big like that. And then I want another one here. And then I want another one here. Like that. that so that's my inspiration. 
is to use that string, the stacking kind of idea, but I'm going to do it with this pattern. So, I'm going to do like this, and like that, and then like this, and like this. Okay, and then we're going to come up and we're going to connect it with a loop like that. We're going to do that for all of them. I'm going to go ahead and go outside my border, but I'm going to leave the border there. Before I draw the next one, I need to decide if I'm going to embellish this or how I'm going to embellish it. Um, I'm going to do this. Like that. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to do one here. I've already drawn my pencil line. But I think I'm going to scooch it over just a little bit. Because I think it's... Like that. I made it too big. I can't get three of them in there, I don't think. That's all right. And that one was longer than that, so it kind of got funky. It's okay. And since it's funky, yeah, I made it way too big. Hmm. Wonder why I did that. Don't know. Well, now what do I do with it? Sometimes you just have to go with what you got. Okay, that was my idea was to do three going out that way, but I made that one way, way too big. And it's got these weird, because I didn't make that distance the same. I made it way too long going this way. So it's okay. Well, it just means we need to embellish in some manner that kind of disguises it.
like that. What was that? Was that something important? No, nothing important. Okay. Um, you know, I kind of like that look. I'm going to keep going with it. All the way to the bottom. Why not? middle one there is going to be last because I'm not too sure exactly. I have to envision where it comes out of and how it attaches to this other piece. So this one I would see like that bit right here. So I'm actually going to see Let's come down here like so. That's what we would see coming out of there. Okay. Like that. There. Now it's kind of disguised. Got a clue. I want it to be bigger. This one too. A little bit bigger. Okay. We're just going to leave it at that. Okay, what was this called? Eight something. Starlet eight. And then I'm going to, going to shade around this piece. Oops, too much. Don't get too carried away, don't know. Totally shade this. Because this form is absolutely in front of that one. So that needs shading like that. I'll start with that. I always start with the shapes that are in front of other shapes. That gives me a really good idea of where else I need to put shading. So that one's in front of that one. Now it's definitely in front. Um, 
maybe on each of these lines just lightly. Why? I don't know. It's what I feel like. Okay, um, maybe in the middle of here or on the points of here. Maybe on the points. I don't know. That might be too much. Is that too much? No, that's not too much. Okay. And then, for sure, I want a, a shadowy border. I do this a lot, the shadowy border. Ah! Just bent my page. Wasn't meaning to bend the page. It's all right, it's paper. It can be folded back flat. And if it really doesn't lay flat, you can always get out your iron and iron it. Did you know you could do that? You absolutely can. It's just paper. And if it doesn't, still doesn't lay super flat, use a mister bottle and get it slightly, very slightly damp and then iron it. It should work just fine. If you think your um, pen might discolor, might change color with the heat, which it might, um, you know, stick yourself a piece of paper towel or something down so that, and I, and I wouldn't put it at a high heat, I would put it at a, a low heat. And put a piece of paper towel down so you don't get ink on your iron in case you think it might decide to. Do something funky. Here we go. I think I'm done. That was a quick one. All right. So you guys have a really great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. My page is all curling up on me. If it curls up on you, just kind of push it back the other direction. And uh, there you go. I'm done. We're done. I will see you tomorrow. Look, I didn't color today. Ha! Huh? All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.